What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics, and I just got back a year-old submission. It's back safe in-house. Everything in here I thought would get at least a 9, and I pre-screened for an 8-0, and thank God I did. I was quite off on quite a few of these. Is this the most harsh I've ever been graded? It might just be, so let's check it out. Urgh. Let's start things off real simple, real recognizable, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero number one. I'm sure that I thought that this looked like it was going to get probably, honestly, like a 9.4. And it actually got the ding, 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 8.5, um, which is still a bit of a respectable grade. However, the value on that book has gone down so much and that grade is so not what I thought it was going to be that I can't help but be a little bummed out on that one. Let's see if we do a little better on this next one here. We've got Swamp Thing, issue 50. This is the first appearance of the Justice League, or uh, Justice League Dark. Swamp Thing 50, um, and I thought it honestly looked like it could get like a 9.6, even like a 9.8. I don't see anything wrong... On the outside, I don't see any spine ticks. I see a non-color breaking spine tick, but that's it. Got the 9.2 and off-white to white pages. So that is, for a book I thought could actually stand a shot at getting a 9.8 on that one. That is quite the dip. Let's keep it going here. Here's a book that I think I'm just done submitting. I have such bad luck with this book that it might be the end. First appearance of Mr. Sinister. I'm sure I thought it would get nines, maybe a nine four. Ended up getting a nine zero. Oh. Once again, off white to white pages. What's interesting is, despite this, all this being from different collections, an overwhelming majority of this have off white to white pages, where I'm so used to getting white pages. Um, I find that very odd since they're not from the same place, but maybe they've tightened their uh, restrictions on that. Next up, we've got another book here, Batman 423, a book that's got quite the value, and uh, it has two spine ticks by my count, two, three spine ticks on the back. Overall, still nice shape, could still get a 9-0. I was wrong. 8-0. If this is the new 8-0, we're doomed. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, next up is one that I knew I thought was going to get the 9.8. I almost knew it. Uh, it did get the 9.4. Still respectable. Closest we've gotten yet. Um, there, I gotta say, there's a spine tick that I don't particularly remember on that one. So that's a little bit of a Unfortunate mystery. Still a nice little book. I think I paid next to nothing for it, so it doesn't hurt too much. But, um, 9-4. Okay. Okay. Next we've got a Star Wars issue number 2. And I thought that this one would be an 8.0, and that got the 8.0. So that was the first time that, that was, uh, first time we're being accurate today. Um, nice, though. Star Wars 2, part 2 of New Hope movie adaption. Very cool. And I think that might be the one that has Jabba the Hutt before he actually looks like the Jabba the Hutt that we know. That's pretty good. Cool. Correct me if that's a different issue in the comments. Let's keep it going. Alright, we've got possibly the harshest grade of them all is Spider-Woman number one. Now, I thought this one would actually get the 9.8. I thought this one was perfect. I'm actually looking at it now. The hell, and I still think it's perfect. But instead, it got the 8.5. Now, I'm going to be honest. That that might be the most or, mo or second to most disappointing one in this batch. I haven't been that off from a 9.8 guess all the way down to 8.5, even since when I first started submitting ever. So I have to look up the greatest notes on that one because that was a surprise. Now, here's my theory for why I got an 8.5. The first appearance of Spider-Woman, which I put right next to it, got 
an 8.5. Now, I have nothing to base this off of, but I think maybe, just maybe, they looked at them next to each other and gave the same grade. And this looks like an 8.5. It's got a couple things, whereas this, I can't really find anything wrong with it. So that's very bizarre. Do I crack it and resubmit it? I don't know. That's kind of a waste of time, I'm afraid. But Marvel Spotlight 32, that's a nice one. 8.5 at least is a respectable grade for that one. Still bummed out about this Spider-Woman one, though. Harsh grading, man. Harsh freaking grading. We got a Ms. Marvel number one. First Carol Danvers as Ms. Marvel. And it got the 8.0... And, um, yep, I'm looking at this, and it still looks like it should be in the nines. This looks like it should be comfortably in the nines. But apparently that's the new 8.0. So, god dang, man. That's, uh, like I said, if that's the new 8.0, yikes. And now, for the most disappointing... Well, the Spider-Woman was probably the most disappointing, but this is the second most disappointing, I think, and my first ever green label. Qualified label, if you don't know what that means, friends, that means someone drew on it, or it's got a detached staple. Well, this is Eternals number one. It got the 8-0, already lower grade than I thought, but it does have... The top staple is popped. Top staple detached, it says. What's interesting about that is the fact that that staple was not popped when I sent that in. In case you're wondering, I had this batch done with CCS, and uh, that would mark my third book to date that has come back with a staple pop after I've sent it in. Yikes, 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 yikes. I do recommend choosing a presser of your own. Can't say it enough. Uh, we've got an Itchy and Scratchy that I could have almost sworn to you would have been a 9.8, but it did get the 9.6. That's fine. You can't hurt that badly. A 9.6 is still awesome for that book. No, no disappointment there. Next up, we've got Simpsons Comics, number one. Uh, pull up poster, flip book. Okay. Again, thought that would have been a 9.8, but a 9.6 is more than fine for that book. More than fine. Hard to complain about that. Ah, I forgot about this next one. Jeez. Okay, so then we've got the first Wolverine is Patch in what I thought would have been about a 9.4. And it got the 8.5. This, I'm telling you, man, this submission was brutal. And if you got to, a chance to look at these books a little bit more closely, I think you'd be a little surprised. I thought everything in here, except for the Star Wars 2, was over a 9. And you've seen the amount of stuff in the 8s. Here is one that is a little disappointing. This is the second appearance of Lobo, and I believe it's the first time he, his name is actually mentioned. Omega Men number 5. Um, and it got the 9-6. That's fine, but a book like that really want a 9-8. And I actually got two of them. Do not submit the same books with each other. This is what happens when you get lazy. <laughs> um, so that's a little unfortunate. I was hoping at least one of those would have gotten. Next one up is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. And it is the fourth printing. Um, let me look at this thing real quick. This thing is nice. Nice, nice, nice. I would have thought for sure that this would have got over a 9. I actually still kind of feel that it should have gotten over a 9, maybe even like a 9-2, 9-4. But we got the 8-0. Very surprising and not in, the, not in the good way. So let's keep it going. We got up next the first appearance of Rhodey, Iron Man 118, first appearance of Jim Rhodes. I thought that this was easily going to be in the 9s. Easily 8.5. At least I got white pages on that one, though. And some of these still have respectable values, but uh, mm, like I said, can't say it enough. I thought these were in the nines. First Monica Rambeau, thought it would be in the nines, 8.5. 8.5 and 8.0 City right here, my friends. Very surprising. 
Next up, we got Devil Dinosaur number one, and I think this is the one I thought deserved like a 9 4, 9 6. First appearance of Devil Dinosaur. It got, unfortunately, an 8.5. So either I was high on pop news when I submitted this in, or I don't know what, because I've never been this wrong before. Never been this wrong. I thought that was the first uh, she venom or whatever, but it, it doesn't say that. That's interesting. Sinner takes all number three. Nice little book there. Nine point four. I think I thought it was like a nine point six. So that doesn't hurt that bad. That's relatively what I was expecting. So that's fine. Um, next up, we've got Iron Man one hundred and fifty. And it is the iconic Doctor Doom versus Iron Man. Once again, even though it had a black spine, I thought for sure that's going to be a 9-2, something like that. Um, and it got, what's that, an 8, just 8 flat. Holy smokes. Now, luckily, with this submission, a lot of these were, no, I knew a lot of them weren't 9-8 candidates, but I thought they'd be over 9s, and um, I didn't pay too much for a lot of these. So, I'm not hurting in the fact that I don't think I've lost money, except I know I lost money on the Eternals and probably the Spider-Woman. But um, it hurts, but it, it could be worse. X-Men number seven, I thought for sure, hand to God, I thought that would have gotten an opportunity. It did not. There have been no nine-eights yet. Let's remedy that. First Maverick, X-Men number five, the only one that got the 9.8 out of this so far. And the last book is an X-Men four. First appearance of Omega Red, and that one got the 9.8. So we got two 9.8s and a hell of a lot of books in the 8.0 range, which is Quite, 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 quite surprising and not in a good way. Um, everything is going to be up for sale. I am not keeping any of this with maybe a slight exception to the Marvel Spotlight 32. Um, yeah, message me if you're interested. Disappointment can happen. What's interesting is the submissions I've been sending in lately, I've double-checked and triple-checked them myself, and I'm sending in cream of the crop tighter books, so I've been seeing a lot more 9.8s. Back then, I was adhering to a different standard. I was kind of thinking of like a very older 9.6, 9.8, and uh, turns out some of those are 9.2s, 9s, 8.5s. So um, the grading standards might have shifted here. Luckily, I am now prepared, but a year ago, maybe I just wasn't ready. Oh, let's uh, show you the books that didn't make the cut, because this was a pre-screen. At least they pretty much all came back with me, so that's good. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. Ah! Jeez, okay. You're telling me that wasn't... You're telling me that didn't get at least an 8.0? Bull. I see one spine tick. I don't get it. I don't get it. And then we've got the first uh, Madam Xanadu. Sorry for the delay. Um, Dora the Nightmare. I'm just stuck because I really thought that would have gotten it. Although it looks different. Apparently, um, there's a couple spine ticks and a couple odd things on that one. I certainly didn't see that before. I might have missed that, but it's also possible that maybe CCS botched it. Keep in mind with pressing, you can botch books. It is very rare, but it can happen. And it might have happened to this book, and I know it certainly happened to Eternals number one. So... A um, little bit of an unfortunate one. Not my best unboxing for you guys, not by a long shot, but I'm still relatively calm and relatively pleased that they got back to me and at least they did get graded over an 8-0. So they are for sale. I will catch you on the next video. Keep on hunting.